three years ago, I did a video on Warframe, and ever since then, I've been asked a ton of times to take another look at it. Apparently, things have dramatically changed since then, which is true, considering this is not what I remember at all. Oh, hey, it's that guy! I remember him. Still have no idea what he is, though. Is he just a guy who has two livers attached to his face? Because that would make sense. You never know when you're gonna need a face liver. Oh, Rhino Space Ninja! It's all starting to come back to me. Anyway, the tutorial section of the game is actually much different than I remember. You now get to choose between one of three frames. Although I decided to stick with what I knew. It also didn't end up mattering, but you'll see why in a second. And you also get your choice of weapon now. I went old school ninja and chose a bow staff for my melee weapon because Donatello is my favorite ninja turtle. And that is relevant. And I went with throwing knives for my secondary. Who says you shouldn't bring knives to a gunfight? More like you shouldn't bring a you to a me fight. Because my knives will enter your body and do serious damage to your internal organs. My smack talk needs work. I also ended up going with a bow and arrow for my primary weapon. Okay, that's cool. Melee combat has received a serious upgrade since I last played. Part of that is being able to reflect bullets. Maybe you could do that before and I just don't remember, but I like it. I found myself actually using melee a lot more than in the past. And guns are pretty much the same. Pew 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 pew. Screw that, let's slice some people. Oh god! That's a torso. And there's his legs. So I was super excited to be an actual space ninja this time. What with the bow staff and the bow and arrows and knives. But the moment I left the tutorial, the game loaded up my old character. And back to stupid guns. Oh well, I figured I'd just work my way back up to the equipment I wanted. Which you can buy for some real world cash, or you can get the blueprints and attempt to build them. Which is gonna take a while. For just the bow staff, it's gonna be at least 12 hours. And that's excluding the amount of time to gather the materials. And 12 hours? I could get to max level in like six WoW clones in that amount of time. <laughs> anyway, screw that, let's go do some missions. If you remember the olden days, you'll notice that the hub has changed a bit. Back in the day, your character just used to zen out in space. Dude, these planets are all like, really tiny. Now you actually have a ship where you can walk around and use different kiosks to shop the market, upgrade your character, pick missions, build equipment, etc. It definitely helps with immersion. Missions are pretty much the same as before. Just pick a mission and attempt to complete it. You could be stealthy if you want, but since I'm a giant albino rhino with a machine gun... There really wasn't much to the missions I played. Granted, I'm still working my way through the beginning, but... Eh. Work your way toward an objective, grab said objective, return to extraction point. Pretty basic stuff. I did, however, come across a mission type I don't remember. This mission was a holdout, where I had to protect this thing in the middle while waves of enemies attempted to blow it up. I actually found this way more fun than the normal mission type because it allowed me just to kill anybody I wanted indiscriminately. It's like a dream come true. I stand by what I said. Another weapon you have at your disposal is your special skills. My favorite was my Zelda Sword Blast, and my dash ability which allowed me to slice up multiple enemies. The other weapon you have at your disposal are your awesome parkour skills. Jump up walls, run on walls, slide, do a spinny jump thing, and of course, double jump. Now, something I really don't remember touching on before was the upgrade system for your weapons in your Warframe. As you kill baddies in missions, you'll gather mods which will give different buffs to your equipment. How many mods you can use depends on your level with the item. This is actually pretty cool. I like the idea of being able to upgrade your equipment rather than having to wait to build new equipment. You can also fuse the mods together to create better mods. You. Jun. Ha! Shit. I'll be right back, I gotta go fix this. It honestly feels like Warframe has fixed a lot for the better. I think it also helps that the game came to consoles, which really helped push the game to a new audience. Basically, the game is in the best shape I've ever seen it in. Tons of people are still playing, so finding a co-op partner shouldn't be hard. And I am way too new at this to try PvP, but I'm sure it's popular. The only issue I have at this point is... I still don't know what the f*** anything in this game is! And that was my second look at Warframe. I hope it met your expectations. Probably not, though. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. I've also put another video for you to watch right up here. If you'd like, you can follow me on Twitter for some random thoughts. And if you really want to help out the channel, you can buy some merchandise. Or you can donate to me on Patreon like these other amazing... I don't know what the f*** they are.